this is recording. Uh, good morning, friends. Uh, today we are here at the Ambedkar International Center, so we have this conference on geospatial technologies. So we have this company, which is Marvel Geospatial dot com, and uh, I geospatial have geospatial solutions. Solutions, sir. So you can introduce yourself and about your company, sir. Fine. When did it start, and uh, what is the mission, vision behind you? Know? Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for having us uh, on your uh, channel and uh, we are from Marvel Geospatial Solutions. We are headquarters in Hyderabad. It's a 15 years old uh, geospatial company and uh, it's in the MSME segment. And uh, we started uh, very modest uh, in 2008 and uh, we are happy to... Uh, so yeah, are you the founder of the company? No, I am not the founder okay. of the company. You can introduce yourself first. Yeah. I am Vikramanda Vijay. I am the vice president in the company. I take care of the complete operations of the company. And who founded the company? Uh, Mr. Raghavendra is uh, the founder of the company. So, what's his background, sir? Like he uh, worked in the tech space? No, uh, yeah. He had a working experience in the GIS industry for two to three years. He worked with a uh, uh, GIS uh, industry leader that time, uh, Sign, presently known as Sign. He was, I think, different uh, at that time. And uh, after having uh, hands on experience in the GIS field, he decided to step out and he had a vision of uh, uh, starting uh, a company and giving employment to youth and he wants to set up a business that was damaged. After having the experience, uh, then he came out and he started his company with two to three employees in 2008 and today uh, it, we are about 150 people operating from four different countries. Oh really? Which are countries are Yeah, we, we are yes. pretty much our footprint is there in US. Uh, we have an office in London. Uh, we have our uh, oldest, uh, like after Hyderabad, the next office that we have set up is in the Middle East, Dubai. So all these places we have our presence and uh, our main uh, processing center that is in Hyderabad. We are registered drone manufacturer uh, at the BGCA. We have our own first model which is launched uh, very recently. Presently they are under... Uh, this is used for crops? Uh, yeah, it, it, it is a very versatile platform. It can be used uh, for uh, RGB sensors, multispectral sensors, thermal sensors. Any type of sensor by changing it uh, with some weight category, we can use it for a variety of applications. Not in spraying of agriculture, but we can use it with multispectral sensor and uh, do capturing of the crops to analyze the health of the crop. So all those things are very much possible. It's completely Indian made uh, drone. And we also have an anti drone system, which is again sitting under Arman Yazan. These are the two so products. Should, I just one second, I'll move, sir. So please come this way, yeah. sir. You can talk about this drone, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Please Ma go ahead, sir. Ma Marvel is also uh, developed. It's, uh, we are a registered uh, drone manufacturer under DGCA. And this is our first drone product, M1, uh, which is uh, completely an Indian made uh, drone uh, in uh, 3.5 kg category and about 45 minutes of endurance. And it can carry different types of payloads. It's a plug and play kind of a model. We can use an RGB sensor, multispectral sensor, or thermal sensor. With variety of sensors, by changing, we can do variety of applications uh, in the field. So, how does the anti-drone system work, yes. sir? Now, as the drone industry is growing and it is easy and affordable, uh, people can put to wrong use. We have seen many incidents in the recent past where drones have been used to cause some damage. Like we are seeing day in and day out in the Punjab area, they have been used for drug smuggling and arms uh, uh, across the border, sending arms across the border. So this to avoid the drones getting into our territory to create a nuisance value or to even uh, threaten the privacy of the individuals, we need to have an anti-drone system these days now. It's it's something like to protect from a bullet, we have a bulletproof jacket. Now to protect from a rogue drone, we need so to have an anti-drone. So how does it work, sir? Like suppose yeah. I'm talking, suppose we're on the road. Yeah. Or we're talking about... Uh, aerial space yeah. you know so we have the aircraft yes they're numbered yes so the drones are they like is there a registration body yeah, exactly drones are all drones are supposed to be registered with the dgca they all have a number like a registration number you unique have, number unique number they right. have but see as we have everything is rare legalized and uh, there is a procedure but all those anti-national elements, they won't follow the rules. Yes. They will still get these components, they will build the drones illegally and they will use from uh, with malefied intentions. To protect ourselves from those intentions, we need to have an anti-drone system which will, even if drone wants to come into our territory, this system will make it not enter our territory. There's it will some do technology. A jamming. It will uh, do a jamming. Okay, it will do. It will do a radio frequency jamming or it will do a GPS jamming. By doing so will it bring the drone down? Yes. 
it will right. either it will uh, make it go back to its home position or it will lower it on a, uh, at the same place it will be disabled it will land we can go and capture right. and uh, i had met some people at uh, the drone festival with pradhan okay. mantri ji narendra modi ji okay. had inaugurated at okay. pragati madan okay so this group of engineers they are from delhi okay i think pashchim bihar so they have this technology friend or four Okay. You might be aware yes, of that. Yes, so it is working on similar principles. And or that no, is they doing no, for the defense. No, what see we have given for that reason. What right, we have sir. seen is if a friendly drone is coming, yes, sir. we can we can avoid uh, jamming. So we have given an auto mode or a manual mode. Okay. Whether we know that there is no friendly aircraft is flying in the area, so we can put it to auto mode. Any drone that comes is illegal, not authorized. It will start jamming. But if we know that there is a friendly aircraft coming. we can put the system into manual mode and we can disable the system temporarily so that friendly uh, drones are not affected by this jamming and they can easily get into the uh, our uh, come right. back to the landing zone and so like uh, when we just for the layman yeah. common man you know suppose like uh, we are seeing here suppose i am talking about uh, this anti droning system being installed in spalam area yeah. right yes. or suppose it's installed in gujarat somewhere yes so what is the range yes. which will yes. catch yes so a very good question uh, see like a parliament and all these are the very sensitive places even a person may not be able to do a damage even if a drone illegally comes it's a shame yes it's a, it's a national shame kind of thing to avoid such incidents one particular system can take care of 2 kilometers radius okay so that's quite sufficient for important installations vip vvip installations infrastructures like even if you consider a defense establishment or anything like that if it is spread out in few acres one system will be able to take care in a omni direction which all is all right. 360 degrees it will be able to jam a system up to 2 km range if nice. you have a bigger range uh, areas like uh, airports are there or uh, spread across large areas research center drdo campuses and all that probably by putting two to three systems uh, in a configuration we will still be able to give the full proof security to any of the sensitive so then the question which arises out of this is about the you know uh, pricing yeah so investment if somebody is to do suppose you are working with the government so they can invest yes so uh, how much is it uh, means no, is, is it viable like it, it's very viable in comparison to most of the anti drone systems now are imported systems what we offering this uh, atmanirbhar system that yes, what sir. we claim is one tenth of the cost which normally you get it from foreign oems okay so it's very so much what affordable what range at the start the price uh, tentative uh, indication you know uh, it's around 50 lakhs 50 lakhs per system. okay and this system has to be maintained by your own people or uh, It's no, a will, like we don't maintain it. Then we give a, we will give a two days training along with the system. Right. Any person who is even a matriculate tenth uh, pass or even an intermediate kind of a person will be able to deploy a system from a packed condition. He will be able to put it to uh, power mode. He will be able to operate it. He will be able to wind it. He will be able to do basic troubleshooting. Okay. But any the, anything more than that, uh, we we as a OEM we will support on field. We will. Oh, right. yeah. along with the initial sales and uh, we'll give a package of support one question which comes to my mind you know uh, when you talk about 50 lakhs then i said suppose you talk to the uh, different countries that have their anti yes uh, so yes. how much are they priced more than 4 to 5 crores okay so price. as it is we are saving and on the foreign exchange exactly. our exactly. balance of payments is going up yes. and uh, another question which uh, comes to the mind these are installed in various places yes. so uh, One is that to put the permission. The government doesn't need; they are installing yes. their yes. own, yes. you know, restricted zones. Another thing that uh, can this anti-drone system be installed on a drone, and would it work in the air? No, no. it will not work. But I'm just thinking that suppose no, you know no. you are taking somebody in the morning. You have five six drones who are scanning Delhi. Uh, so wherever no. things are coming out of any house. Uh, That, that, It's happening, that, you know, sir. Because yeah, that type uh, of system is not available. Not, not available. But yes, if this system we want to make it mobile, mobile. not on a yeah, how to platform, make it? We can make it mobile by putting it on a vehicle. If a convoy is moving, okay, then it can to, be done. When we want to protect the convoy, yes. it will be with the convoy in yes, one of the vehicles, yes. and around the convoy it will give you a two kilometer string of safety. Wonderful. So lastly, I think uh, because we have a shortage of time now, okay. we have the conference and the minister is coming. Yeah. So you want to add anything which you want uh, the viewer to know, the students, the researchers to know about your company, okay. or about something you want to? How do you see yourself, your company, in two thousand forty-seven? Okay, <laughs> that's great. 
we want to see as one of the leading companies uh, not only in india and with overseas business and we are growing fast it's one of the fastest growing geospatial company we cover pretty much all the elements of geospatial sector whether it is uh, sub uh, sub surface to anything above surface so we are everywhere we are underwater we are over the ground we are in the air so we cover the entire spectrum we are in covering entire range of uh, uh, geospatial industry uh, uh, applications so we are one stop solution for anybody wants to have any solution or any application to be made right. there yes, and when we are talking lastly i just want to do add since you said you are the you know, unique uh, you have your unique position in the industry so it's about skill development which is another respect when we are talking about made in india yes, make in yes. india then skill development so yes. how many jobs are you uh, have See, you have you given in, jobs in to how many people 15 years from 5 to 150 150 yes 150 it's a big uh, number it's 150 ways yes. and the way we are expanding we see a potential of adding at least 40 to 50 positions uh, that is uh, probably i'm saying but as the uh, years uh, go by maybe the re, uh, the number of recruitments right. are uh, and we have a system that we take from the freshers from the college we train them on different projects you have pilots your training yes. the drone pilots no, we are not training we, we we recruit pilots right. either dgcs certified pilots or anybody with a basic skill we recruit and we train them uh, they sponsor the training with the dgca approved uh, ftos flying okay. training uh, organization yeah. flight training organization and once they are certified we use we all have dgca certified pilots all our drones are dgca registered drones great so friends i would uh, just ended up that this marvel company which is based out of hyderabad are here to stay on the indian aerospace i would say you know they will be actually uh, what uh, jaise wo bolte hain ek samundar manthan where you know there are so many yeah, companies yeah, who are yeah, coming yeah. in so by another 5 10 years somebody yeah. will back out yes. they are not able to get that uh, business yeah, yeah. and no, they are not survived, contributing the company started in 2008 we survived uh, 2008 uh, yes. economic uh, problems and right. we survived covid and we are doing better great <laughs> thank you very yeah. much wing governor sir thank, thank you thank you thank you, you ma'am thank you